so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and today we are discussing a new concept released by the team of google that is google nested learning so it is a new type of machine learning they are introducing which helps in resolving catastrophic forgetting in machine learning so what is that i will tell you what happens that assume you have a baseline model for example you trained chat gpt you have a gpt model trained on all the data set now once you try to fine tune it on finance what does catastrophic forgetting means the model gets better on finance but it start forgetting the basic that it learned previously so how to keep up both the information so it becomes good at finance but bad at the basic stuff that it learned previously this call is catastrophic forgetting so this is what google nested learning is trying to solve and in the short video to explaining you what they are trying to achieve what is google nested learning it's just not another architecture tweak it's a structural rethinking of how learning happens in machine learning multiple level abstractions and stack of interconnected optimization so when you're training a deep learning model just think what are the things that are getting updated it's the weight and even the optimizer so it's not it's not just one weight set that is getting updated it's a pipeline which is getting updated every time when you train a model so google nested learning things on that lines only the problem catastrophic forgetting as mentioned model overrides instead of integrating information previous knowledge vanishes with new learning so as you fine tune you start forgetting the previous things current fixes are there is a concept called as replay buffers architectural tweaks that is used in reinforcement learning as well but again they are just fixes models don't learn like brains do so once as a human being what we do when we get a new information we are able to integrate it with the previous one machine learning models don't they start forgetting traditional versus nested learning setup so traditional model as you can see the model trains optimizer and data now in case of nested learning model optimizer and rates they are nested within each other these are interconnected learning systems different abstraction levels and multiple update rates different update rates are used for different types of models so within the model also different layers are learning different entities so for example the early four layers might be faster at learning the middle ones are not the third ones are learning from some other example so everyone learning method is very different so in that case nested learning targets on that and they are trying to train the model not in one go but in multiple steps russian dolls analogy i think it's quite easy like that nested learning systems multiple time scales and mimics human brain learning uh, google team hasn't mentioned much about what how they are achieving it the architecture and all but this is just a brief concept that they have introduced so they have also introduced a concept called this continuum memory system spectrum of memory modules and different update frequencies so different segments of the model the deep learning model that we're talking about for example assume that there are 15 layers the first five would be updating at a different rate the next five would be updating at a different rate the third the last five would be updating at a very different rate and these are fast memory medium memory and slow memory so these are the information that is stored in this continuum memory system and the model is able to fetch out information while updating optimizer upgrade from mechanical to associative optimizers are used as memory modules and remembers previous examples too so using nested learning they the team of google has released a new model called as hope self-modifying architecture recursive learning loop updates its own learning rules it extends the titans architecture so if you remember google titans was released a few months back now it is an extension over that it has more nested levels uses continuum memory system and long context window as well experiments and results hope outperforms all benchmarks has low perplexity higher reasoning accuracy as well compared to titans samba and transformers also practical and examples are chatbot adaptation without forgetting general to specialized learning fast plus slow memory layers are also there so what's the conclusion i think there is a structural rethink of learning models that evolve without forgetting and self-modifying learning systems are coming out this is what google nested learning is all about this video is just an overview to tell you how it is different from basic machine learning how they're trying to update the different segments of the model differently 
and this is with this it's a wrap i hope you try to get the chance to read the blog and let me know in the comment section what you understand about machine learning and nested learning thank you so much